Hey there, here is a card control tutorial. Check the PK Magic Academy 1400 videos and counting free trial. Link below. Get my new book, Art of the Wheel. So here's a variation of a control that I put on the channel many, many years ago. So for this, we have a card picked. Let's say it's a three of hearts. That card is lost in the middle. And look at the thoroughness of this shuffle. It really doesn't matter. We have cards going from the middle on top. We have cards from the top going into the middle. And as you can see, it really doesn't look like we're controlling any cards. So the participant, they look like, well, you have a sort of mental disorder. And uh, here we take cards from the middle and put chunks on the top. We put chunks in the middle. It really doesn't matter. And ultimately, guess what? That card is still controlled to the top of the deck. So the point of this control is the fact that, well, we're using chaos to mask the method. It's a really chaotic looking shuffle and it's really not that difficult to do. So all we're gonna do here is we're gonna have a card picked. In this case, let's say it happens to be the three of hearts again. As we square up the deck, we're just gonna maintain a little pinky break right there above that card. Now I'm just gonna spread a chunk of cards above the spread while still keeping onto that pinky break and I'm just gonna shuffle them haphazardly on top of the pack. All the while, I'm still keeping onto the break. It just looks like I'm mixing the cards up and I really don't care where they are. But all the while, guess what? That card is still perfectly preserved. Now at this point, I'm going to take some cards from the middle. I'm just going to outjog them and place them on top. I'm then going to continue this haphazard shuffle all the while, keeping the break, and then taking cards from the top. And here, I'm going to put them in the middle. But where I put them in the middle is actually going to be below my break. So right now, I'm just going to riffle down below my break and I'm going to shove these cards in there all while still keeping my pinky break. So those cards are going to get squared in. And right now, I've still had my break all the while. I'm then going to take up all the cards above my break and shove them into the middle of the deck, just like I did before at a random location. And now guess what? That card is on top of the deck. Now you can actually do this again and still preserve that top card as follows. We take another chunk and we're going to place it in the middle of the deck. But instead of squaring it up, what we're going to do is we're going to push the card on the upper left corner. When doing this, you see, we have a nice little step that's going to take place here. We can then pull down on that step, and that's going to allow us to keep a pinky break. So now we can repeat the process again if you want to continue that, or we can just take this chunk and place it in the middle, take all the cards above the break. That goes in the middle, and guess what? Their card is on top. So look at what this control looks like. It looks like you really have no idea where each and every single card is in a deck. In this case, we're taking cards in the middle, placing them on top, taking cards from the top, we're placing them in the middle. We're taking chunks of cards and placing them in a random location. We're taking more chunks of cards and placing them in a random location. We're shuffling the cards. We could repeat that action again. And guess what? It doesn't matter because, well, their card is going to be controlled to the top of the deck. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Now, this is not going to be for every routine. But what it's going to be useful for is in case you want to do something like maybe you want to control the aces. And we're showing the participant that in a haphazard way, well, it doesn't matter that we mix up the deck, we still have some sort of control over the cards because of our excess in virginity. Same thing when we have a card pick. We want to convey to the audience that, guess what? We really don't care as to the order of the cards. We don't care. We're still mixing the cards up and we still are able to locate the card. It's going to be that much more impressive because it really does look like you really don't care. Uh, some advice at the end of the video. Oh boy. Uh, this is a good one. This is a good one. My uh, next door neighbor... Her, her a mom died a long, long time ago. And uh, this is the TV that I've had in my uh, house for the past, uh, I would say, year after my uh, neighbor passed away, my elderly neighbor passed away. And this was packaged in a Samsung box. And the Samsung box said 4K uh, HD TV and uh, had all the bell and whistles. And uh, I got excited. One of my neighbors said, hey, you want a TV? I'm getting rid of it. And I said, yeah, why not? And it was Samsung 4K TV. I'm not going to complain about that. It was definitely bigger than the TV I had previously. And uh, well, I opened the box and it's, uh, it's a fucking RCA. It's a fucking RCA. 39, 39 inches RCA with the N64 cables in the back. I was hornswoggled. So a good bit of advice when your neighbors are getting rid of something, uh, don't take it because you're getting lied to. I see you again when I see Shit, good, 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 good,